Hey, what's up friends? Want to come here just a little raw and real. And I want to share a story with you because I feel like all of you, I wish and pray that you could have a Nashville moment on you. And what do I mean by that is, you know, I had an experience, I guess, 20 years ago because it was centered around an event that I was going to go to in Nashville as I was building my business. And I really just kind of call it you know, this, this breakthrough, this, this Nashville moment. And so I always remember it that way. And for you, it might be something similar or you have not yet had that experience. And really what it is, is you come up against something so big that most people will turn back from it. And I decided to press through it. And, you know, that's, that's really these moments in our life that become, you know, these, these milestones, almost these monuments that these moments, these decisions that can transform the rest of your life. And so let me give you a little context. I, um, in 2003 started with a direct sales company, was building it, um, had an IT consulting job, um, you know, high paying job, but really what I saw in the future with that was a lot of travel, the corporate ladder that I was going to have to climb required a lot of time, a lot of, you know, time away from my family, you know, really the circle I was around, that was, that was the drive. Like, you know, have the, you know, all the, the persona of being this travel consultant, do these, put in these networks, make money, all that stuff, but really have no time freedom, anything. And really, um, you know, seeing ahead, I saw, you know, just guys and families that really didn't have the fruit in the life that I wanted you know, later stages of life. And so, so grabbed hold of this direct sales opportunity that I was like, I can, I can build this on the side. And so the first year I built that really in my own strength with the skills that I brought to the table. Um, you know, I, I grew a little bit, but I was having a lot of success just with, you know, just kind of my natural talent. And you see this in sports, you see this in so many areas where people can kind of show up and, you know, they, they can produce and they can really do well with just the natural God-given talent or some of the skills that they have. But at some point, you have to dig deep. At some point, you have to prune. At some point, you have to grow or you're going to go. And, and so what happened for me is we had this conference in Dallas at the beginning of the year. Um, I think I had about 25 people from my team that I had recruited six different, no, seven different lines of people that came. Um, you know, I was really on track to essentially build, you know, I was halfway to building, you know, the premier position in this company that would be like, you know, set free income. And I was, I was determined. I was focused. I was a machine. I was a commander. Like I was, I was on it and I was doing this all in the part time spare, you know, and I was persuading people to jump in and get started. And I love the products and all that stuff. And so, so went to that and came out that spring and was like, here we go next level. You know, these 25, some people, you know, we're going to build this. We're all going to multiply, duplicate. And the next event that was happening was late June. They decided to do it in Nashville, Tennessee. I lived in Seattle, Washington. And what happened was, you know, again, this was the most giant blessing that could have ever happened to me is I had so much momentum with the team that I started to like focus on the team and their activity instead of continuing to do my daily work. What got me to the place I was, was constantly being in motion, constantly bringing people to the team, constantly doing, you know, events and presentations and all these things. And I started to put the focus on the team. And what happened was the team slowed down. And also what happened was as we got closer and closer to Nashville, more and more people were like, I'm not going to that event. I can't make it to the event. Like the airfare to get there, this was, this was 2004. It was ridiculous. Like 2004, I think, I think it cost me, I bought airfare for $800. $800. And, you know, and at the time, uh, you know, I was married at the time, uh, my wife was expecting. And so she wasn't going to go either. And so it was kind of, this moment where I had, like I said, about 25 people that were supposed to go from the last time I was really thinking I was going to have, you know, every time you want to get more people, right. I was like, Oh, I'm going to have like 
75. Maybe I'll have a hundred. Like that's a magic number. Maybe I'll get a hundred there. So about a month before I'm sitting in my office and people are just dropping like flies. They weren't really out of the business, but we knew, I knew that getting them to these events were just like the infusion that they needed. It was the infusion that I always needed. Like I, I would show up empty and be like, fill me up. Like, give me hope. Let me meet some other people. Let me connect. Let me like, just like, like get in the room and get that oxygen. Right. So what happened was everyone had dropped out except for my mom, <laughs> my mom, God bless my mom. She was like, I'm going, I'm super excited. I'm going to support you. And you know, as a man, and, you know, just building a business, all this stuff. It's like, like in my mind, I'm like, of course, my mom is always going to have my back 100%. She's ride or die. Like, I don't even need my mom to go to the event to know that my mom is like all in to help support what I'm building here. And so, so, and psychologically, I was like, great. My mom's going like, of course, I'm like, I already know she's in, right? Like she's, and then I had one other friend. She was like, Hey, I'm going to go because I can't wait to see the special guest who's coming on Sunday that's going to do the worship service, Michael W. Smith. And I was like, I was like, no, no, are you, are you excited to go because you want to build your business or are you just excited to go see Michael W. Smith in this concert? And I was like, I think she was like 75, Michael W. Smith, 25, build the business. And I was like, okay, what is happening here? Like everyone I thought had the vision. I thought they saw this, like, where, where is the team? And, and this is, this is the Nashville moment where I literally had to look inside myself and go, okay, if everyone stopped doing this, would I still go? Because in my mind, my, my flesh, like the most average people, they would have been like, you know what? Our team's just not going to go to this one. It's expensive. You know, my mom's going to do do this with me no matter what. Like, she doesn't need to go to the event. Like, my other friend, she's still going to do it. Like, she's just already doing it at this level, and that's probably the level she's going to always do it. And she's a great teammate, lover. But, like, you know, she can miss this event too. And so I almost was like, I'm going to skip. I'm just going to skip this event. And then what happened was the creep started in. And then I was like, is this really worth it? Is this really worth my time? Is this really, you know my future? Is this what I really, and the thing is, is I, I didn't even know to ask these good questions, but I asked good questions of myself. Like I was able to internalize and say, and ask these things of like, Wayne, what do you, what do you really want? Like, why are you doing this? Like get back to the root, the foundation. And so I just made a decision at that point. I said, you know what, if no one shows up, this is why I'm supposed to be here. You know, this, this is my pruning season. I'm going to look at every reason why, you know, I, what can I do? What are the controllables that I can do? And I can show up, you know, I can get fired up. I can get filled up. I can get some new tactics. And here's, here's what's, here's the craziest thing is I decided to go. I decided to not quit because I think a lot of people would have quit. A lot of people have been like, man, I had this huge thing, had all this momentum. And now I literally have nothing, but I didn't have nothing. It was just timing. People, people needed a vision. There was a, you know, cost to it, all these things. And, you know, and so sometimes we're, we're looking at all these other things and we think that the, you know, the vehicle, the business is faulty, but it's really people making decisions. It's not the business. Right. And so I knew fundamentally the business was solid. The business was strong. And, and here's the, th here's the crazy thing is I decided, I don't know if it was a day or two late, because again, it's been 20 years. It was it was within days that I ran, I was like, I'm going, I'm committed. Whether no one shows up or just me, I'm gonna see this thing through. Like I'm I'm committed to this five years, no matter who shows up. And so I end up deciding to go. My airfare's booked, I'm committed, I'm going. Like I'm not like super stoked. Like let's just not, I'm not like, yay, I'm just super pumped. I just I went out of out of duty and commitment, right? It wasn't an emotional thing. My emotions were like, do not go. Like just quit. <laughs> like you 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 did all you can do. Like your your natural skills are, you know, you're you're done here. And so within a couple days, it was two, three days later, I get a call from a gal that wants to know about our business, random, 
random. Another gal that I had taken care of on products had helped lose like 40 pounds. This gal saw her and was like, oh my gosh, what's happening to you? And she said, oh, I met this guy Wayne and, you know, he got me these products. And she calls, she wants a bunch of products. I get her the product. She shows them to her husband who also, they were looking for a plan B and they were like level up people. They were incredible people. They had success track record, all these things. And all of a sudden they saw what I saw. And it was this moment, this Nashville moment of a validation of like, hey, everything you're seeing is true. And here's some actual people that really also have fruit in their life that we're going to see it at, like you see it. And they're going to put wind in your sails. The funny thing is they couldn't even go to Nashville, but they got started and they were excited. And for me, it was a validation of like, hey, if I would have quit, if I would have decided not to go, what would have happened when they called me? And to be like, uh, yeah, I'm kind of not doing that anymore. That that decision, those that couple ended up leading to so many people that are still part of our organization. Some of the biggest leaders in direct sales are part of that organization that have re literally changed thousands and thousands of people's lives over the years. They're still in business with us 20 years later. You know, the one key couple that they introduced us to later, they're still in business with us. One of the, you know, the top leaders in, in the world, really at transforming people came out of that Nashville moment, <laughs> you know? So again, the, the trickle down effect, but at that, at that event, you know, our company actually didn't have a lot of momentum either. That's the ironic thing is our company did not have a lot of momentum, but they launched a tactical, a tactical business plan a very focused vision that I was able to go home with. And within the next six months, most of those people that did not go to the event, they resurged. A group of them came to the next event. A big group of them multiplied and came to the next event where I actually locked in that level and really started to build a significant, you know, part-time income on the side where within five years I had replaced my consulting income, doubled it, um, was able to come home, um, be a work from home dad and um, really start to just build this organization, build leaders and do all that. But again, you know, it, the shift and the message here is, you know, I pray that you have a Nashville moment. I pray that you really discover the why you're doing this and you see the fundamentals. If you're working with us now, you see the fundamentals of this business. They're rock solid and don't get caught up on decisions other people are making in this season to steal your destiny, to steal what you have and the potential you have. And I know that every single person, they need this type of moment. They need that Nashville moment to really dig down and go, hey, if it's gonna be, it's up to me. I need to grow. What do I need to do different? How can I lead better? How can I show up every single day? How can I be consistent when I'm tired? How can I be diligent? All those things are powerful and you watch what happens. People will start to come out of the woodwork. People are going to start to see because, you know, no matter the business, no matter the business, there's people that just win over and over and over again. And I know that you can do that too. So I pray that you have that Nashville moment. I pray that you dig deep and you see, and you can lock arms with us. So let's do it. We have a great event coming up in February. I feel like it's, it reminds me of a Nashville moment for a lot of people because, you know, there's just a lot of things going on in the world and the one thing you can control is to show up, to show up, to show up. Let's go.